here we can see that the distances are given, three points are there A, B and C and now distances are given to you in solution we just write down the distance that is distance A B is 16 okay then distance C A is also given to you and that is 9 and distance B C is given to you as 7. Now here greater distance we have to write down greater distance first. Here distance A B is the greatest distance. So it is 16, uh, greatest distance is 16. So here we can write down this is our statement number 1. And the sum of other two distances that is distance C A and distance B C. Okay, so we have to make the sum of them that is 9 plus 7. Here we get answer 16. This is our statement 2. Okay, now sum of the two distances is equal to the third one. So therefore these are collinear points. Okay, therefore point points A B and C are collinear points ok and from statement we have we got here two statements. So, from statements 1 and 2 we can say that point C in the sum of the distances point C is common. So, we can state that point C is between or lie between lies between points A and B A and B ok point C lies between point point lies between point A and point B. So, here we have found the betweenness huh, of point A, B, C. Okay. So, this is the fourth question is given to you. Distance, there are uh, three points I say LMN. Distance LM is 11, it is given to you that distance LM is equal to 11. So, here we write down all, all the distances in solution. Again, we write down the given distances distance L m is 11, distance m n is 12 and distance between point points n and l is equal to 8. Now, greater distance here 12, hmm? so we can write down here distance greater distance that is m n and it is 12. And other two distances, if we take the sum of other two distances, that is distance LM and distance NL, we get sum of that 11 plus 8 and that is 19. So, look here the statement number 1 and statement number 2 differ, so they are not equal. Hmm? So, what we get here from, here we can write down from statements, 
1 and 2 distance L plus M plus distance N L is not equal to the third distance or greater distance that is distance M N. Okay. So, therefore, the given points that is L, M and N are not collinear. If they are one on one line, then they are collinear. So, they are non collinear. Oh, they are not collinear, not means none. Hmm? You can write down here the word, exact word, geometrical word here, you can write down, and that is non, non collinear. Means they do not lie on a number, uh, same line, hmm? are not collinear. So, this is our solution. So, here we get fifth sum and in fifth sum what, the, what distances are given, we can write down in the solution first. Solution, we can write down solution that is distance x, y, distance x, y is given 15, then distance y, z is equal to c1. Okay, and distance x z x z is also given eight. Now first we take greater distance, and what is that? Distance uh, fifteen fifteen. Okay, distance x y. It is greatest distance here. Hmm? Is equal to fifteen. So it is given to us. We can take the segment number one. Now, sum of other two distances, remaining distances that is distance y z and plus distance x z. So, if we sum them up 7 plus 8, what we get? Again, we get 15, which is equal to the statement number 1. So, from Stood statement, from statement number 1 and statement number 2, what we get here? That point or we can write down first the, they are, one minute please, we we'll just write down the statement, both the statement. And then we can write down which point is uh, between other two. Hmm? So, from statement 1 and 2, the, the greater distance that is x, y is equal to sum of other two distances that is y, z and plus distance x, z. Okay? So, therefore, now look out, look out the sum which is the common point here, we say z is the common point. So, point z lies between, point z is between or lies between points x and y. Hmm? X and y. So, this is the answer. Okay? So, here if you look carefully, D, E, F are the points given to you and comparatively distances are given to you. So, here in solution we can write down first the distances, given distances that is D, distance D, E, distance between point D and E is 5 units, okay. Then from point E to F, the distance is 8 
and from point D to F the distance the given distance is 6. Now, here greater distance we start from greater distance. Okay. So, number 8 is greater which is the distance between point E and F. So, distance E F is equal to 8 and this is our first statement. Okay. Other two distances that is distance d e and uh, distance d f we just add them up. If we add them we get 5 plus 6 which is equal to 11. So, this is our statement number 2. So, what we get from statement 1 and 2? So, from statement 1 and 2, we state that the greater distance that is E f distance between E f is not equal to the sum of other two distances that is distance d e and distance d f. Okay. So, therefore, these points points d e f So, in this sum if you get the sum over here question number 4 on number on a number line points a b c are three points such that distance ac is equal to 10 distance b c b is equal to 8 find distance a b considering all possibilities so, so first of all we take distance ac we draw a number line for that this is a point a point C is there. Now, here AC is equal to 10, BC also given, but AB is not given. So, to find AB, to find distance AB, hmm, we just do some work over here and then we can solve it. Huh? Distance AB is equal to distance A C minus distance C B that is 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. So, here we assume that B is point B is between A and C, here we assume. So, we get here point B, C B is equal to 8, A B is equal to 2 and from A to C, the distance is 10. Okay, did you get this point? Case 1 we take B lies, here we consider B lies between hmm? So, if we consider If we consider point B lies between A and C, then distance AB is equal to 2.
Okay, did you get this point? First case we have solved here. First case we solved here. Now, second case we take that C is between A and B. Case number 2. We are taking case number 2. Possibility number 2 or case number 2 we can see. Case number 2 we see that point C lies between A and B. Suppose with this condition, we take this condition. For this condition, we just draw a number line and we take the those uh, points. Hmm? Suppose we get here point A C lies between A and B. So A C and C B. Okay, A C is given as ten. So C B is given as eight. So this distance we get ten plus eight is equal to eighteen. We get eighteen. Okay. So therefore, distance AB is equal to distance AC plus distance CB. That is ten plus eight, which is equal to eighteen. So therefore, here we get distance AB as eighteen. Any question regarding this? In first case, we consider B lies between A C. Second case, we consider C lies between A B. Now, case number three, we take here. Case number three. That is point A lies. between b and c suppose we take this between b and b and c okay so that we draw a number line first as we draw in earlier cases you are said first and two so this is our point a number line now a lies between b and c So we have to take first distance CB because if you look the sum, CB is eight, AC is ten. Okay. So if you take take point A between uh, between BC, then we have to take distance BC means CB, and this distance is eight. This distance is eight. So here we cannot take point A because if we take point A between this, then the measure of BA or distance of B or AB is less than eight. Here, hmm? okay. So distance. CB is equal to eight, and other two distances, distance AB plus distance AC, AC ten and CB eight.
okay that is the case therefore distance ab would be different then hmm? so it is not equal to the 8 it is not equal to 8 just remember that is distance cb because if we write down the a point between bc or cb then distance ab would be the and uh, distance ac is given 10 so it goes to the beyond b distance means point a is at distance 10 units and b is at distance 8 units so a cannot be lie in this therefore we can say here point a cannot lie lies cannot lie between B and C as distance AC is greater to distance CB. Okay. So, therefore, we can say that point A does not lie. So, these are the three cases here and therefore point A B is greater than 8. Okay. So, if we consider hmm, here that point A cannot lie between B and C as A C is greater than C B. So, last answer we can write down therefore distance from point A to B or between point A and B is equal to 18 or 2. So, these are the two answers hmm? 18 or 2 or 18 and 2 we can write down. So, this is our final answer.